being a visiting professor here is, is strictly to be helpful, to bring my own unique perspectives, my own personal identity, my own thoughts and experiences about the music and within the music, to bring those ingredients here and to supplement what's already being happening. I think a lot of the musicians that I look up to learned maybe not by going to conservatory, but by working with older musicians. And this type of program is about as close as you can get to getting called for the gig. I mean, that to me is, is super valuable. So I think like playing with the students is very valuable. Because they're like, oh wow, what is that feeling? What is that sound? That's something that's different. This just seemed like in terms of your ideas and the flow, whether it was like chops oriented or just like the terrain or feeling like what am I going to do on these changes? Like, I don't know what was going through your mind, but it, there was a certain degree of hesitancy. Mr. Hall is a big character and has a big heart and tries his best just to make sure that everybody feels good in order to make everybody sound as good as they can. So that's where you can really have your antenna up and really be thinking more and listening and having more of a conversation over here. A lot of the conversation you were trying to have and you've been having, generally speaking, is with me. And he's listening to what you're doing and he's throwing ideas out there and maybe he hears where you're trying to go and if you make a little wrong turn, he like fixes it a little bit for you and you don't want to lean on that too much because you want to be professional, but um, it's a great feeling. Like it doesn't get better than that, so, yeah. My conversations with the students about the music, that they would take away that uniqueness, that personality, if you will, and they would think about that in the ways in which they might incorporate that uniqueness into their own personal voice. Well, ethnomusicology, it's the study of music in culture. So it could be a, a country, a, a tribe. Their music can, in many ways, represent them. Their identity is lived through their music. And so looking at the ways in which jazz music, specifically and black music more generally, is a cultural music, and sharing that with people here has been very important and, and a very big part of my conversation, both with students and with faculty. I think sometimes in music school, you just get a lot of information. And this is a situation where just serving the music, it doesn't feel particularly egotistical. It's just like a really developed way of being a musician. And to me, that's what I've been coming away with. Like, I would like to be able to do something like that, like be really good at my craft and always be serving the music and have something to say. And so from all those angles, he's just been awesome. It's been really special to get to watch somebody like that and play with somebody like that for, for a week. And, uh, see how it feels, yeah.